Welcome back. The Super Nintendo. A 60 FPS machine. Or is it? The problem is, when games start to push a platform, we start to see choppy gameplay, and devs may even decide to limit the frame rate. While we can smooth out gameplay with emulator settings, it's more of a workaround and is not an option for those with real hardware. In today's video, we'll look at Super Nintendo Fast ROM Hacks. This will make our games more responsive, give us smoother gameplay, and if you have a Super Nintendo Flash Cart, they'll work on real hardware. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. To use one of these fast ROM hacks, we can't use the original cartridges, so we'll need either a flash cart like the EverDrive, or an emulator capable of running Super Nintendo ROMs. You'll need to find the game ROM files yourself, but the IPS patch files can be downloaded for free on Kando12's Patreon site. He's the guy behind the infamous two-player Star Fox hack, and is very productive. If you like what he's doing, please consider signing up. If you just want to download, just go ahead. We'll first make a copy of the game we want to patch, copy, and then paste. We'll then right-click this file, and then rename. So we'll just change this to Fast ROM. Now we can load up Luna IPS. We can leave all these options as they are, and then press Apply IPS Patch. Then select the downloaded IPS file, and now the game we want to patch. Now select the game we renamed to Fast ROM, and then Open. Successfully patched. We're done. We can use this same method to patch other games too. From the original Star Fox, we can create Star Fox X, which also has a fast ROM version. Notice how it's slightly smoother. Or how about Disney's Aladdin? Did you see that? Same again from another drop. And here's the fast ROM version. Silky smooth. Let's get into some more games. Final Fight. Darius Twin. Earth Defense Force. Hook. Joe and Mac. Mega Man X2. Rushing beat. Sim City. Smash TV. Super Turrican. Top Gear. Ace 
and Thunder Spirits. Even if you can't see a difference, Fast ROM can make a game feel much more responsive, and may be more of a benefit on two-play games, where you need an incredible amount of sprites on the same screen. If you're not going for a speedrun record, this may be the best way to play Super Nintendo games. As we close up, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. We make guides like this, as well as video reviews, fix them cheap arcade boxes, and also the A500 Mini. Any weeny teeny weeny yellow dot bikini. Uh, okay. So if you want to help us, please consider jumping on. Otherwise, we've got that like, subscribe, and bell. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!